these time series plots identify patterns of variation in the process now we discussed last time that information is for decision making correct and uh, complete information that you get and the faster information you get it will help you take faster decisions you seek some information to decide something right and the faster you get the information the correct and complete information you take you can make timely decisions accurate decisions okay now data is actually information but when you represent it visually you can comprehend it faster how many of you are clear about this so if you have some dump of data you may not visualize the patterns in the data but if you put it visually you can see the patterns and the decision can be faster so this time plot actually you can monitor the process performance and also you can suppose if you want to make improvement somebody is is admitted in the hospital his pulse rate is not okay it is actually going unstable and then he is given a treatment okay and then his pulse goes stable so you can evaluate before and after improvements okay so how to create time plot you can make the plot you can label the vertical scale you can label the horizontal scale and you can plot the values and if you are a trainer or consultant it's always preferable to ask them to do it by hand first you know make that paper fold the paper into half start with the center and whatever is the range don't use more than you know 3/4 of that okay so that even when there are some sporadic causes like this okay then you will be able to see that easily okay right now median we have spoken about mean median and mode median is nothing but if you arrange in ascending order or descending order the middle value is median okay to be in a very simple language now calculation and sliding ruler means if it is odd number if you arrange in ascending or descending order you can pick the middle one as median but it's a even number you go to middle take the average of mean of two readings okay so mean is nothing but you add everything and divide it by the total number median is arranged in the ascending order or descending order in the middle one and the mode is the number of times it happens and i always pointed out in the earlier sessions also that you can use mean sometimes you can use median sometimes you can use uh, mode sometimes and i will clearly explain you with examples when you come later for analysis stage we are just measuring the data right when you come to analysis stage I, the central tendency is mean median mode represents the central tendency okay of the data and dispersion of is standard deviation variation the way that the data is dispersed okay so central tendency and dispersion these are the two words we will use later and these are the two words i have just introduced so that you don't feel scared when i say let's calculate the central tendency and which is the right mode to calculate the central tendency whether mean median mode is something that i say okay we can understand later so mean median mode the range is the maximum and minimum all of us know that very well right somebody is driving the car he is sometimes going at 40 minimum he is going at 40 and maximum he goes at say 100 uh, during a one hour period of drive okay don't calculate the starting point okay when he traveling on the road after he starts driving he goes between 40 and 60 so what is the range of course 20 right 